This video shows an experiment of baroclinic instability. This experiment was created and conducted for AOS 103, Introduction to Oceanography, taught in the fall of 2020 at the University of California, Los Angeles, by Andrew Stewart, Jordan Moscoso, and Clara C. In this experiment, we show the effect of rotation and tilted density surfaces, or baroclinicity, and its associated instabilities, which are often referred to as eddy generation. For this experiment, we'll need the following materials. One rotating tank, some food coloring to see the circulation, a pipette to distribute the food coloring at different parts in the tank, an empty can, and some ice to create a temperature gradient across the tank. We set up this experiment by situating an empty can in the center of a tank and allow for the tank to spin up for about 10 minutes with fast rotation. This fast rotation is important in causing these instabilities to occur. If you're interested to see what happens with slow rotation, check out the link in this video's description. After we let the tank spin up or reach solid body rotation, we add some ice to the empty can. By adding ice to the can, we actually cool down the water surrounding the can, causing this water to sink and move out to the edges of the tank. This cold, cone-shaped mass is considered a baroclinic condition, or a condition when we have tilted temperature or density surfaces within the tank. These tilted density surfaces actually drive the instability or eddy generation that we'll be seeing in the experiment. Since eddies work to mix different water masses, or untilt density surfaces, we know that these eddies will continue to be generated so long as we have a temperature gradient within the tank. So now onto the experiment. I've let the tank spin up for about 10 minutes and I'm adding some ice to the center here. In between adding ice, I pour a little bit of water so that there's more thermal conductivity between the ice and the sides of the can. This will drive a stronger temperature gradient within the tank. Once I've filled the can with ice and water, I add a little bit of dye. The blue dye at the surface represents the cold water toward the interior of the tank and the red dye on the exterior represents the warmer water. Now we'll start to see the eddies develop, or the instabilities occur within the tank. These instabilities are working to equalize the temperature gradient, or flatten that baroclinic cone that we had at the beginning of the experiment. So you'll see the warm water from the outside of the tank move inward, and the cold water near the can move outward in the form of eddies. So now we'll just watch these eddies move around and generate and exchange water between the insides and the outsides of the tank. So this leads us to the end of the experiment. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and learning a bit about baroclinic instability. This video and all associated art was created by me, Jordan Moscoso, with experimental design and advising by Andrew Stewart. The design fabrication team for the tank is John Arnaud, Henry Gonzalez, and Taylor Lawner. Thank you to the UCLA Center for the Advancement of Teaching for funding the rotating tank. A huge thank you to the UCLA Marine Operations team for the space to conduct this experiment. And finally, a special thank you to the DIY Dynamics team. If you would like to obtain a rotating tank for yourself, please visit the website listed here 
or follow us on Twitter at DOI Dynamics Team for some fun kitchen oceanography that'll be occurring over the entire month of December this year. That's all for now. Thanks again for watching.